Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And she's sitting in on this video. We're going to talk about the uh, new Transformers movie, Transformers 1, and it being such a, um, a box office failure that the rap is saying they believe it's going to kill the franchise. Ouch. I'm sorry, I just can't get past Optimus's face. He's, he's a kinder, gentler... Optimus. Just, uh, okay. Uh, so let's. Uh, he's got girly lips. Uh, let's. Uh, let's. Let's talk about this again. This is again. This is a follow up to yesterday's video. For those of you who don't know, Transformers One came out. Transformers One is a completely CGI animated movie. Um, it's somehow supposed to be a prequel, I think, to the Bayformers universe, but it doesn't look like it, but whatever. It's it's basically a retelling of the origin of Optimus Prime and Megatron. It was supposed to do $40 million this weekend. It was tracking for $40 million. Oopsie doopsie, it did like 25 or 26 million and Beetlejuice beat it in its third week. And everybody's doing a post-mortem like, what went wrong? Everybody loved this movie. Everybody who saw it loved it. And I think the reality is, is nobody went to see it because of the anti-marketing mm -hmm. That was done ahead of time. I know that's why we weren't going to see it. Yeah, because we're like, it looks like a kids' movie. No thanks. It, it looked like it looked stupid and hokey, and um, yeah, I just wasn't. I wasn't interested. I'm like, this is something that you would see on streaming. So, so we'll talk about this, and uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to do better because people are like, oh, it'll do better in week two. I'm like, the Wild Robot comes out. Oh yeah, that looks really good though. That that one's been like everybody's raving about how good that, that movie is. That one looks so, amazing. Um, I don't think. I mean, if you're going to pick one robot movie, I think they had they had a shot this weekend, and that was it. And they probably thought it was safe. They're like, well, Beetlejuice has been out for like three weeks. Nobody's going to go see. No, no, they picked Beetlejuice over Transformers. So, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Yeah, woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, so yeah, disclaimer, I'm actually a huge Transformers fan. Yes, it's true. He's got a lot of them in the studio and at home and in the bedroom again. I've, they're creeping into the bedroom. Yeah. So we actually had, or I actually had a massive Transformers collection when we lived in an apartment before we bought our first house, I had no place else to put them. So they wound up in the shelf in the bedroom and like Starscream and Megatron were watching us all the time. It was kind of creepy. And then we got rid of them and then they, the collection grew again. <laughs> So I sold a bunch of them to help put, and you sold we your did. ponies too, but we sold a bunch of our toys to, to help put a down payment on our house and, and, uh, yeah, the collection's back, but yeah, I am a kid alt. I love these things. And, um, that being said, I didn't, I didn't love the trailer. I, no, it looked like it was, it looked like it was trying to be like hokey and lame yeah. and like, you know, geared for kids, like little kids. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, this is like Earth Spark or something. This looks like something I would, I would watch on Netflix for, for free. Well, I mean, you pay for Netflix, but you know what I'm saying? Like this, this isn't something I'm going to go to the theater to go see. And then people who saw the movie um, about a week before it came out said, no, it's actually, and these are, you know, some of people's whose opinions I trust. They said, no, the movie's actually really, really good. The trailer did the movie dirty. So once again, Hasbro's trailer is, you know, destroying the film. Right. So let's, let's walk it back to, was it last year? The Dungeons and Dragons movie came was out. Was it last year? You yeah. Remember? I don't know. They all, it all together. together. I think it was last year. It was last year. The D and D trailer. Yeah, I think dropped. it was. Yeah. And, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, uh, all the, uh, all the media was talking about was like one or two things the producers said that they were going to like emasculate men or something. Mm -hmm. And they ran with that. And then the trailer looked stupid. The trailer didn't do the movie justice either. And then they had the unfortunate luck of, of the movie coming out like two weeks after the uh, OGL debacle. So a lot of people were boycotting. I didn't go see the movie. I had no interest in watching the movie. I'm like, this is stupid. It sounds, you know, quote unquote woke. I don't want to go see it, whatever. Forgot about it for a while. The movie bombed. It did about like this. It did about like 25,000, 30,000, or, or I'm sorry. Yeah, it did really bad. 25,000. No, it did 25 million or 30 million or whatever. And um, I forgot about it. And then uh, it was on sale on Vudu and I bought it. And then I continued to forget about it. And I didn't get around to watching it until like December of last yeah, year. Yeah, finally we watched it. And we're like, oh, this is pretty good. And I loved it. I loved it. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Dragon. <laughs> huh? It's like the, the fat, fat dragon. dragon. God, I love. And the thing is, the movie was nothing like what the media was trying to portray it as. It was nothing like the trailers either. The trailers didn't do it any justice. And I feel like this is probably another case 
with Transformers because I, you know, again, my immediate reaction with the trailer was this is a kiddie movie and it looks like LOL, so random humor, like the people like to say, oh, look at the goofy ass Marvel slapstick, whatever. And people are like, no, it's actually really, really good. It's the best Transformers anything in a long time. And I'm like, well, damn, that's a it's a damn shame. So what happens with this uh, with this anti marketing is that a lot of good movies and TV shows get caught up in it, whether or not it's the studio's fault because they didn't market the movie correctly, or and some many, idiot ran their mouth. Some idiot ran at the mouth that was associated with the production, or the media ran with it. And we, we saw that with the uh, Agatha Harkness. It's like, oh, it's the gayest show ever, right, guys? That wasn't actually people. People keep thinking it came directly from Marvel. It did not come from Marvel. It was one reporter that ran with it. And then all the other media outlets are like, okay, guys, Marvel says it's the gayest show ever. And you're just told people not to watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is coming from. Coming from the rap, they said that the franchise, the entire Transformers franchise is in decline. $25 million domestic start. Now it's up in the air whether this origin tale for Optimus Prime and Megatron will strike a chord with moviegoers who aren't already fans of the franchise. And they're pointing out that, like, it's just not the Transformers is in decline. Like, they had the Bayformers movies, and then Bumblebee was not that great is in terms of money. I love Bumblebee. But yeah, I was say you like that one. I freaking love Bumblebee. Like if Bumblebee had been the first Transformers movie, I would have been like, hell yeah, I'm on board. But I think what happened was I think the uh the Michael Bay movies destroyed the franchise. I think there was a lot of buzz for the first couple. And then when we got to like the last night, which I couldn't even watch, I never finished it. I got halfway through I'm like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? And then the one before that, but the Dinobots uh, the Mark Wahlberg one, that oh, wasn't yeah. very good either. But yeah, they said, I don't remember the name, <laughs> uh, age extinction or whatever. It just, they weren't very good. Right. Um, uh, but they said, yeah, it's got, it's got an 89% and 98% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, but people aren't even giving Transformers the time of day now because the, the brand is so. Well, I damaged. do think it was because the trailer, because it really looked like it was for kids. And a lot of people were like, Okay, well, if I had little kids, I'd take them to see this, but I don't have little kids, so it's probably not something I'm going to go watch. And they didn't go watch it. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't mean that this is going to be a complete bust. It's just not going to help now, because right now Hasbro and Paramount are both in a very bad place, you know? And uh, so it might just be a case of like, yeah, you're going to have to like go back and rethink Transformers a little bit. But they said, yeah, the best case scenario is that people will catch it later. I was watching a documentary uh, in the background the other day on The Nightmare Before Christmas. And it was a it was a flop when it came out. You went. I did. And your friend made fun of you. He did. And now he loves it. It's so weird. Yeah, I went to because I didn't I didn't realize it was a musical. Right. And I was in like high school or junior high when it came out. And uh, I convinced my friends to go see it because I'm like, oh, this looks like this really dark cartoon. Let's go see it. So we all went to go see it. And I got the stink eye from all my friends. They're looking at me they were like, you drug us to a freaking musical, dude. Like, what the hell? I'm like, I didn't know it was a musical, okay? I didn't know. I had no idea. Anyway, everybody loves it now. But yeah, it was a huge flop because nobody knew what to make of it. Didn't mean the movie was bad. It was just like, it was terrible. But they're actually comparing it to Furiosa where they think, like, people didn't catch it in the theater because the marketing wasn't that good. And then they'll catch it later and they'll become like a cult thing. But at that point, the ship's already sailed. Right, the money's gone, you know? You know? Yeah. And um, But they're saying, yeah. The animated they, films are not cheap to make. No. Um, it was only $75 million, I guess, to make it. They said, yeah, the worst case scenario is it's a PG rated Furiosa. They're actually comparing it to Furiosa. They said, despite strong reviews from critics and rave reception from fans of the uh, post-apocalyptic series, Furiosa was a flop generating just $67 million, 170, uh, domestic and 172 million worldwide. Um, they think it's basically Transformers needs to rest. They think it well, needs to. Well, so does Star Wars and Marvel, but here we are. Yeah. Um, and they're like, yeah, cause what's going to happen is since it was completely animated, parents are expecting like a kid's movie and next weekend the wild robot comes out. And if they're going to take their kids to a kid's robot movie, guess which one they're going to pick? Yeah. Well, the wild robot looks amazing. It does look amazing. So, uh, I don't know guys. I mean, this is, this is pretty bad when they're like, yeah, Hey, the whole franchise is features. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. I mean, it could also just be like, you know, you know, oh, I have to you know, say that to get clicks, but yeah. No, I think I think they're right though, because uh, Rise of the Beast, it made four hundred million dollars, but that's you know, Bumblebee didn't do great. Bumblebee was fantastic, Rise of the Beast came out, it was okay. 
but they had to kind of pivot back to like a more Michael Bay type Transformers movie, except this one was a little bit more coherent, um, but still didn't do great. And then this one came out and just flopped. So I think it's over. I think people are burnt out. Um, except I know the, the toys Parkers. look cheap. I don't like the robot designs. I'm mean, going to be honest. Like I really, I looked at the toys and I'm like, God, these look so cheap. This just doesn't, I mean, well, I think that's also, I think that's also because they're cutting costs too and i think yeah. that you, you can tell but even the design i'm like i'm not a big fan of the designs but uh you know i look at things like that because i'm like do i want this smiling girly lipped optimus prime on my shelf watching me in my bedroom no i do not anyway we're gonna wrap this up yep <laughs> please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants we'll talk later bye Join the reef. Go to clownfishminus.com. That's clownfishminus.com. You will get exclusive access to podcasts and videos and comic strips and more, as well as merch discounts. Check it out. If you were a member, you could get this t shirt, this dismal t shirt. On our website, you'd get a 10% discount on that. You can also join in the community on clownfishminus.com. Thank you so much for the support.